Alright, welcome back to the Super Coach Nuff channel. In this video, we're going to review week five of the 2024 NFL uh, Dream Team uh, season. And uh, the the downhill slide continues for myself. Only getting a 338 this week, which was uh, yeah top 76% for the round. Slipped down to 60% overall. So... Yeah, 2,100 out of 3,600 is pretty disgusting and still yet to break the duck in the league. So if we have a look at the team uh, and how it went. Uh, so, well, this week we, we didn't have the services of Jalen Hurts, so we relied on Josh Allen and Jaden Daniels, uh, both doing fairly well. Josh Allen, 28, a bit below, I guess, his price. Uh, but Jaden Daniels has been fantastic, a 41, averaging 45 for the season. He's made, uh, I can't think, it's got to be about 13K. Uh, uh, mil, I mean, uh, wasn't quite that much. I oversold it there, 11.8, but that's still massive. Uh, running backs really struggled this week. We captained Kamara and uh, only got a 19. Uh, Bijan with an 18, Jordan Mason with 15, and Bucky Irving with an 8. Uh, we had Braylon Allen on the pine with a 6. Um, so I can't wait to get Saquon back in this week. Uh, wide receiver, again, other than Garrett Wilson, no outstanding results. So uh, Jefferson scored 24, CeeDee Lamb with just a 17. Godwin, so since we brought him in, hasn't really produced uh, what he had been, 17 points this week. Uh, Neighbours was a late out with the concussion, so uh, we didn't have cover for that. Garrett Wilson, we talked about, was uh, you know the standout with uh, 45. Uh, and Marvin Harrison Jr., quiet one with nine points, but being a rookie, we could cop that. Uh, the tight ends, Travis Kelsey seeing a fair bit of production with a 23. And Brock Bauer was getting a touchdown as well, so 39 points for him. Uh, Laporta on the bye. Um, and the Detroit kicker on the bye as well, so Cardi only getting two points. Uh, and the Chiefs' defense was outscored by Washington as well. So pretty much anything that could go wrong has gone wrong. <laughs> but uh, we'll have a look at the game day, see uh, how prop teams are doing it. Uh, so if I go back to week five... So getting done by 100 points again this week, it's uh, pretty disgusting. <laughs> but uh, we've got Postman Pats. So captaining Lamar, who he's probably the one that's got away from us. Uh, what's that, 66 points. Fantastic in that shootout against Cincinnati. Speaking of which, Jamar Chase with the 72 was massive. Um, oh, no, nothing outstanding, but... I guess those two easily put a hundred on my captain and you know wide receiver one. So well, the captain put a hundred on me. So it's tough to to catch up with that and also having one less player. So I was missing one. Uh, he was missing two with a no running back or wide receiver available. So very similar players on by. So I can't use that as an excuse, uh, but just looking through a 495 for the TD inspectors, looks like the top score this week. So captaining Lamar, um, had Jamar Chase as well. So that seemed to be the big two. Uh, let's have a look at who else scored big this week overall. Um, so Chase was the highest with 72. Kirk Cousins, if you're that way inclined, 70 points. Joey Burrow, obviously, throwing a lot of TDs as well, 69 points. Tank Bigsby, so I guess he'll be a cheapy option this week, scoring that massive 62. Not to say he will every week, but nice little cash grab on offer there. Um, Drake London and Darnell Mooney, I guess, you know, tied to Kirk Cousins, so great returns there. 
Joe Flacco, not cheap, but uh, does the job. Uh, DJ Moore, Kyle Murray, T. Higgins, Caleb Williams. So ever since we've been him, he's lifted. So again, pulled the wrong rein there. Uh, Tucker Craft's been one that's sort of come a bit out of the blue, but 45 looks good if you're looking for a tight end. Um, the quarterback's featuring Alec Pierce as a cheaper option. And I guess another little mention there, Rico Dowdle having a good game. You know, we binned him too early <laughs> from the team. So in terms of what we actually do with this train wreck, I have no idea. <laughs> so Jefferson's on buy this week, so McConkie comes in. That's easy. Kelsey's on buy, so Laporta comes in. I guess all these guys on buy, so... I guess the, the plus side is we're getting the buy stuff out of the way early. Gives us a bit more options later on. And we swap Barclay for Irving. So where do we potentially upgrade? Hmm. So we've lost a bit of money on CD Lamb. I mean, do we take the bit of money from Godwin. Not even sure where we go. So like do we bite the bullet and go Jalen Hurts to Lamar? Or do we go Josh Allen since Hurts has already had his buy? So Tank Bigsby I think is definitely one we need to target with that break even. Brian Thomas would be a good one too with that break even. Actually, let's have a look at the break evens. I probably should do that. It was part of the point of uh, paying for the assistant coach. Just to share the goodness with everyone. <laughs> but uh, so Malik Willis, again, if he just needs one more game, and he'll, he'll go up in price. Tank Bigsby is definitely the one to target this week on break even. Mick Nichols. So he did score a few points last week. He's made a bit of money. Uh, but I think his big game's about to roll out of his average, so not worth bringing in. Uh, Chase Brown, a bit similar as well. You know, made two mil this week, so probably one week of price uh, generation. Um, yeah, other than that, there's no massive standouts. Maybe... Xavier Worthy's looking all right with Rushy Rice, but they're on the buy this week. So one probably for next week. Daniel Mooney's been pretty impressive. A uh, nice break even. You know, he seems to have a good connection with Cousins. Um, don't know. You know, Tyron Tracy had a big game. Super cheap price if you think he'll continue to sort of be RB1 there at the Giants. Um, but after that, we're getting, you know, sort of basically at zeros. Um, so I probably don't need to worry too much after this, I would have thought. So, who makes way for... Well, I guess it's probably just one of these bench guys, this starters probably we don't want to swap out so maybe Allen I think I was heard something about the Jets have been their uh, their coach so I don't know what impact that'll have on him and Irving looks like he's becoming the running back one there so it's we're going to be Allen out for Bigsby just to take advantage of the cash on offer I'll search by week, five points. There he is. Uh, and then do we look at just it'll be sidewaysing at this point, those guns. So 
don't know. Like, I guess the other thing is we are a bit limited with trades. We've got 16. Still got 10 weeks or so. What's it, no, 12 weeks. I can't even count. So we're already down to about a trade per week. So we probably need to bank some trades somewhere around the joint. I'll just have one more look at break heat and see if there's anyone I'm super keen on getting in. Juju, again, got the buy this week. No, can wait a week. Slate, no. Yeah, probably just looking at it. I think we just do the one trade. As frustrating as it is, you know, we've already seen some of the players we, we sort of looked at initially have gone well. Um, we just probably didn't keep the faith long enough. So you Caleb Williams, Rico Dowdles, that sort of thing. So I think we are just got to try and stick fat. But I guess we've sort of fixed most of the positions, just the quarterbacks, I think, because that's also potentially where our captaincy is going to come from. So Josh Allen plays the Jets on Tuesday night. So Jets' defense is pretty good. Washington playing the Ravens. So that was a high-scoring game last week. Um, so I don't know how the defense is going to go, but we've got to play them. <laughs> uh, and Philadelphia off the bye playing against the Browns. So... I think Allen is going to sit out, which is controversial given his, uh, you know, consistency over the years. Um, but a pretty good position to be in with these guys. Um, but, you know, Jaden Daniels is still making some cash, but uh, break even a five. You know, he'll get to a point where we'll cash that out and then obviously can swoop to upgrade our um, wide receivers, for example. Um, so Jordan Mason plays on the Thursday night, so we'll VC him. Um, and then the captaincy, I'm just going to stick solid with my guy Jalen Hurts, you know. Hopefully he goes off for a big one off the bye. would be nice at home as well as handy, um, whereas the other two are away, the other two quarterbacks, that is. Uh, Kamara against Tampa Bay, eh, you know, and the wide receivers are a bit too inconsistent for me to, to back any of them in. So I think that's the, the team for this week. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, get them in. You know, it probably doesn't look like I know what I'm talking about, and I probably don't, let's be honest. But uh, happy to have a go at answering them anyway. Give us a like if you enjoy the NFL content. Subscribe for all the fantasy sports content on the channel. Uh, other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.